Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys saw how hard I fished. I fished probably three quarters of a mile of a river that looks so beautiful. And finally, I got my bass. I was doing a Senko through an actual worm, through a jig. I was about to throw a Ned rig, but I decided, hey, let me catch something. So I decided to throw a spinner. I was almost certain there was going to be smallies in here. I didn't know for sure, but I was pretty certain. Um, that is freaking sick. Beautiful little creek smallie. Wow, this is, here we go. Finally got on a pack of them. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. All those beautiful pools that had nothing in this just random pool with some leaf cover. I'm, they're coming out of the stick and just annihilating it. I'm fishing this on a seven foot meat. I mean, these fish fight so hard. There are very few freshwater fish that fight as hard as a creek smallmouth. When these fish are living in the current, no matter how big, they will kick your butt. Look at that fish. So strong, look at that. <laughs> Gotta have respect for smallmouth, no matter how big, no matter how small. All right, I'm gonna explain more in a bit, but I'm running out of creek here, because there's someone's backyard there, and I don't really feel like fishing in someone's backyard right now. I don't feel like getting yelled at, but I'm fishing these deep pools. So as you can see there, there's some riffle, where it's really shallow and really running fast. But when it stops and it gets, you know, it gets deeper in these larger pools, like, look at that, see? How it's just all like much still, really much stiller right here. This is where the smallmouth should be, and for some reason I fish about 12 or 13 of these pools, and that one random just for some reason had smallmouth. Not any other ones had smallies. Maybe just because I'm not using a spinner, maybe I have to use a spinner because that's what they're hitting, but for some reason that was the only little pool that had them, so I'm gonna head back upstream, uh, fish in different pools, fish the same pools that I just fished earlier but just use the spinner instead. See what I can do. Big ass buck right there. The fact that I'm not catching any smallmouth in here is just ridiculous. It must be because the leaves are like turning the water really really dirty and, and it also rained heavily in tropical storm pretty recently so that might have to do something with it but um I have caught two, but to get a video I need at least, you know, four or five. There we go. Finally, I worked for this fish, guys. I worked for this fish. Kept fishing, kept fishing, found this really cool pool where some water's being pumped in. It's not that deep, but I mean, when there's clean current like this, you know there's gotta be something there. Fishing for some dang creek smallies is so much fun, man. I'll take it. Not sure if you guys saw that, but I got snagged and I on a rock and I popped it off and then there was a smallmouth on the rock, so we just got a reaction strike out of him and he just freaking smoked it. These creek smallmouths are so slimy. It's ridiculous. So gorgeous though. Look at that fish. This guy really wants to go back. He is squirming like crazy. I'll tell you what, man. These creek 
smallies are fun and they are stacked off right now. They are so stacked up at this pool. Water's getting pumped in here, nice and clean. Not that deep, but it's super, super rocky. And I'm telling you, these fish are stacked. Most of these fish are small, but they're fat and they fight really freaking hard. That's a decent one though. These are all dinks. There might be a bigger one, but I'm guessing that the usual size in here is about this. I'm seeing them all surface right next to me, literally right next to me, and I'm just casting at them at their boil, and they're just slamming it. That, my friends, was probably a pike or a pickerel. decent day ended off with this there's a little bit of there's a little section where they were just busting everywhere and I was casting on them but for some reason it just didn't record any of it so I was just slaying fish where you didn't really miss much it was just the same size of what I've been catching but it was like every single cast I didn't get any of it on video so that kind of sucks but it was a good day probably got like six or seven on camera yeah uh, spinner high tech and one on the x drop I'm going to talk about what I did and how I found these fish right now. I'm going to give you some never before seen smallmouth information. So basically, the number one 100% accurate website you could possibly find would be your state website. Uh, we've got this here, and this can help you find smallmouth in creeks in ways you probably have never thought about before. So here we've got two really, two of probably the two biggest smallmouth uh, main rivers in all of New Jersey. You've got the Upper Delaware River and the Raritan River. So here you've got the Delaware River, and there are tons of creeks feeding to the Delaware River. And as you can see, and also as you can see, there are a lot of creeks feeding into the Raritan River as well. So this already eliminates so much water. All these crazy creeks over here. Like all the way up here, holy cow, this is so laggy. Like all of this, there's probably not going to be any swamp in there because there's no way for them to get there. So already you've eliminated so much water. This is my home river, this is the Passaic River. I catch pike here. Um, there's tons of different places for these swamp to go in, all sorts of creeks to go in. And I've already fished most of them, and all of them are really nice, deep. And they have really nice deep pools, especially closer to the actual river itself. Um, so there's many reasons why the swamoth go up into these rivers. And one of the main reasons is uh, competition. So in the Passaic River, there's a lot of pike and there's carp. So a lot of these swamoth travel up into the creeks to get away from them. Uh, spawning reasons, another reason why they go up into creeks, food. There's a lot of there's a lot much more food in creeks. I've caught some wolf out of here. There's some very deep pools, and you would be surprised how far up these smallmouth go. I caught them way, way, way up here, past this, past all this, all the way up here. So you will probably a, anywhere connecting to a larger river, any creek with deep pools probably has a uh, smallmouth in them. Now that you guys know how to locate creek smallmouth from fishing. Uh, creeks that are connected to larger rivers. Now I'm just going to show you what lures to use. Now I think my favorite would probably be a Kitek. It just mimics flashy bait fish, which in my area is 
the main forward for these smallmouth, whether it's Cree Chubs, Black Nose Days, sometimes Golden Shiners, Baby White Suckers even. That is probably a really key bait. Uh, I'm showing you here a bluegill color, so if there's bluegills in there or any sort of maybe red-breasted sunfish, they'll eat that. And also, if there's a lot of snags, they won't get a snag up easily. That's why a Ned Rig, which is my second favorite, is really good when using crayfish, but sometimes they get snagged up if there's a lot of sticks along the bottom. But if they're eating crayfish, there's nothing better because a jig is probably too big. And the Ned Rig, the, the movement on a Ned Rig is just amazing. It's freaking fantastic. It gets a lot of smaller fish, unfortunately. But that's why my next one is a really good choice. The, an X trap or a jerk bait gets a lot of bigger fish when you can jerk it and they hit it on the paws. A lot of the bigger fish will eat it on the paws. So don't just crank that thing and don't just jerk that thing in really fast. Give it a couple pauses. Sometimes they're finicky. But once again, if there's snags in that creek, you do not want to be throwing a bait with six hooks. Then if neither of those are working, just throw a spinner. I mean, there's no reason why spinners shouldn't work. If there's everything likes them. I caught a, I've caught tons of uh, small fun spinners, but you probably won't get a bigger fish on a spinner unless you're throwing a decent sized spinner. And then next, of course, if you love top water, throw a popper. This is a little hula popper. Probably shouldn't throw that because. I'm not saying you shouldn't throw it, but if you want a bigger smallmouth, then throw some at least three times that size. Also, the, the hooks on that thing are pretty debatable, and you should probably throw something with six hooks in case they miss it. But yeah, poppers really work good for smallmouth, I'll tell you that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next video. It'll probably be a Florida video, either that or if I catch something this weekend, which probably will not happen because I'm doing something stupid. All right, see you later.